Welcome back to part three of this Colour Wrong in Fragile World by Kirby Rosans. So in part one we did this little guy, part two we did the one down here with this bit of background here and hopefully in this part we're going to complete the page so fingers crossed. Less chat, more action I think needed. So I'm just going to quickly sharpen just one of the pencils I can see is a bit run down that I've been using. So how are we all today? Are we doing anything nice? I'm going to get my hair done finally tomorrow. I beat myself in the hairdressers. Um, I've not been the hairdressers in. I think it was last year. The last time I went was last year. So you can imagine what my roots look like. <laughs> I'm going for something completely different anyway this time. I'm going to have um, a balayage. That's what it's called. <laughs> so let's get... Yeah, let's get moved down. I'm going to do this branch up here. So it's the same colours as this one and then we'll do this little branch down here and there's one here and then we'll do these rocks. I'm going to do the rocks slightly different, not much different but a, a little bit different. So let's get in on the colours we use. So first I put a grey down, so it was warm grey 273. All the pencils will be linked in the description box as well as well as some of the supplies I've used. So I'll link the Distress Inks and everything like that. And the book, in case you've not got the book and you think, oh, I quite quite want that book now. Because I think I've done a, quite a few colour alongs in this fragile world now. I think I have. It's a bit dodgy going around these bits. <gasps> Pencil's getting stuck, stop it pet peeve that now <laughs> so next up I'm gonna pop a little bit of this in so this is burn talker 187 so with a head pressure I'm just gonna pick out some areas and we're gonna put it completely where I don't want it so let's get the eraser and get that off. that happens to me all the time whenever my pencil snaps I always end up can you see it I always end up it does this to me it hurts me so let's try and get it off if I can't get off, it's not the end of the world. There. Hardly notice it. Hardly notice it. Let's bring you in a bit more though, because we're a bit too zoomed out. So yeah. Does that happen to anybody else when they've snapped the pencil? Because I, I swear, I've only seen myself do it <laughs> to that extent. I don't know. Right, so I'm going to put quite a lot of this colour in into it quite a lot and then where I've left the gaps we're going to put some of that earth green that really nice greeny colour and then right at the end is going to be the fun bit because I'm going to put all the little white gel pen detail in bits in where I want them I can hear horses yeah, there's horses going past outside. You can hear them clip clopping. They're going back to the field, I think. Oh, this little bit. Do not. <laughs> I don't know if I said the other day as well. The teachers are striking again. I might have mentioned it in my other colour <laughs> colour along. Um yeah, the teachers are striking again. At first I thought it was just one of my daughter's schools. Um, because they go to different schools. One school was definitely striking. And then my other daughter came home with a letter that her school's striking as well. So I've got two at home on the fifth and seventh of July. Honestly. Don't know where my head's at. <laughs> right, I'm going to get this earth green now, earth green 172, we're going to put a little bit of that into the mix. Oh, that pencil snapped off as well, at least it didn't make a mark this time that. Every line in.
hate that glow, you know when you put your page down you can see all the wax bloom sort of thing. I hate that me. <laughs> I hate it. I was trying to turn my pages and put the angle at a different angle but it's, it's impossible. <coughs> Excuse me again for my cough. Some of that in there. Ah! Just to don't rip your page, it's not a good idea. There we go, and then I'm gonna get that. Where is that pencil gone? Oh, it's over this side. I'm gonna get that dark sepia 175, and we're gonna pick out some dark areas with this. Some up there. I think this is going to be the last page that I do in June because I don't think I've got time to get anything else done. After I've filmed this, I will be filming my finished pages video. So there's not a whole lot this month, I have to be honest. I've had a busy month. I've had kids off school ill. I've been to the doctor's appointments. I've had other appointments. So yeah, it's not been my busiest month in regards to colouring. But I have done some paintings as well. Done some, a couple of paintings. I did want to get one more painting done before I film my finished pages, but I've not got time. I've not got time for anything else apart from finishing this page off, unfortunately. There we go, let's just get the bottom bit, bit on the bottom. There, that looks similar to everything else. So now I'm going to come down and do this branch here. There's one here, so exactly the same again. Going in with your warm grey 273 as a base. And then going in with brown. Burn talker, not brown orca. Burn talker 187. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> Can't stop coughing. Then we're going to go in with the earth green. Get some bits of that in it. On the edge without ripping your paper. <laughs> and then the dark sepia 175 pull from the edge with that one I think pull the colour out from the edge I 
think some of these logs have got like little shadows underneath as well that Kirby Roseanne's has put in and there's one under the little um, animal here. So we'll do that. Little shadow. So I will have to try and remember to pop those in right at the end as well. Right, we've one more little log on this side, I think. So just runs over here. So we're going to do that one. So same pencils again. Warm grey 273. I think by putting this grey down first before the um before this I keep forgetting the name of it. Putting the grey down before the burn talker um sort of makes the burn talker less bright, it sort of dulls it down a bit, which is what I want for the page because I want it to be more muted earthy tones rather than really bright sticking out colours. So there, and now going in with the burnt ochre 187. Still in frame here. We are. So is anyone coloured along with this one or just took tips from any part of it? Maybe how, how you would approach fur or anything like that. Right, going in with the dark CPNO 175. And a little bit just on the bottom of this branch. So that's all that done. Now I'm going to really quickly go in on these um, little grassy bits. I'm going to go in with the earth green. So I'm just going to put a light layer down of the earth green. And then I'm going to go in over the top with another colour. In a second so earth green all over all the leafy bits you can see and i'll probably end up missing some out i can guarantee you <laughs> i will it's a bit fiddly getting on the edges of the paper oh my will word <coughs> do apologize for my cough it is irritating I 
I have got some cough sweets, but I don't know what's more irritating me coughing through the video or me sucking on sweets through the video. Oh, dear me. I hate the sound of people. I was say, talking to a friend the other day on a WhatsApp chat. I hate the sound of people eating. I can't abide it. I hate it. And my partner has the one of the loudest ugh, eating. You can hear his whole like jaw chomping down on the food. <laughs> I hate it. Oh dear. I do give him the side eye occasionally when he's eating. Oh, emergency vehicle. Gotta get it in the video, haven't we? Gotta get one in at least. Quite fair away at the minute, but I've got quite good ears, I think. There we go. Gun pass. What is it? It's a fire engine. Fire engine today. What, it's more time consuming than you think doing backgrounds like this because there's so many elements to it because I thought oh it's a it's quite fussy but I thought to myself I'm using a limited palette it shouldn't take too long but I'm always wrong I'm always wrong <laughs> for the edges of the paper. When you take them out and mine's disc bound, obviously my book what I've done. In some ways it's easier to colour in on in others. You make it harder for yourself. I'm just mapping all this colour in so that when I start on the rocks I don't accidentally go over any of these leaves with the colour I'm using for the rocks so I've just put a nice light layer of the earth green on all of those and I think that's it so for the rocks I'm gonna firstly go in with brown orca brown orca 182 and I'm gonna put a covering over all of it let's zoom out a bit more I'm gonna put a covering thin layer over all of it so you'll see it's a very similar shade to the color we put on here but it's but it's not the same it's not the same color guys but we're putting a very light layer of this all over and then it's just a case of going into all the shadowed early areas with a darker shade I probably will get the dark sepia out for the little shadow under the what's it called again? Donut. <laughs> I keep forgetting what it's called. I keep wanting to call it a mouse. It just looks like a little cute mouse, doesn't it? I've 
thought I'd got another message from that school then. I was just looking up at my phone, it's a notification for something or other. But it's not important. <laughs> I don't have to rush off today. So my daughter's gone on a trip with school today. I did mention it yesterday in yesterday's colouring chat. But she has actually gone today. And it is nice and sunny outside. It's not raining. So that's good for them. It's nice for them. But it's not too hot either. I think this part might actually be more time consuming than the done arts was. I think I've underestimated how fiddly and annoying this is. <laughs> I prefer to have a blank background and me put my own in than something so fiddly like this. I just do. I prefer to do my own thing. I mean if you really really hated it, you could black it out. I suppose I've done that on a few pages before you know with your black acrylic paint because that will cover anything you could even black it out then paint your own scenery in that's not as busy <laughs> Let's be careful around here There's so much area. You know what I should have done? I should have gone in darker with that distress ink. When I put down that very light layer at the start in part one, I should have gone in with a darker layer. That would have been so much easier. Because it is a similar shade to this, if you look. That's the distress ink. And this is the pencil. So, yeah. I should have. You can see I'm not being too careful about this either. I am just getting this layer down. I think we'll go over those mushrooms as well. Sorry if you're going a bit seasick because the page is like sideways on. <laughs> I just need it to be at the right angle when I'm trying to get the colour down. Stay still, page. Stay still. Just this little bit in the corner now with the base, base coat. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. How many times are I going to do that without realising we're at the edge of the page? Right, so that's all. Let's zoom out and you can see it properly. So all that is got a layer of this pencil on now and now it's time to deepen everything up. So first I'm going to pick out all the mushrooms. So these little mushrooms hanging off the edge there. I'm going to go in with the Burnt Orca 187. So let's zoom you. 
back in again and I'm going to go in with this head pressure and just pop this colour down on those mushrooms I think there are bits of rock as well so I'm going to just pop a bit on those as well under here we've got the mushrooms is there any more hiding around we've got a little rock here let's pop some of that colour down on there and on there We've got some over here, haven't we? Some big rocks. Can pop some of that colour on. <clears throat> there we go. Maybe a little bit down in this corner, you can see some little rocky bits. And then we've got, oh we've got some on the tree I've missed there, I haven't mashed with fill those in. Just pop a bit more dark on them. And these ones. in with warm grey 273 and with this one I'm going to pick out some darker areas so all under this shadowed area I'm going to pick that out and just blend it into that other colour that's down there So just picking out all the dark, look at that glare, picking out the darker colours, let's see if we can do that, might be a bit better, zoom out a bit. So can you see it's shadow and there's one up here as well, we'll just pop that in very hard pressure I'm using for these shadows because they will be dark under there. blending the greys into that brown zone Now on the rest I'm going to pick out the darkest colours and go in with a very hard pressure and then over areas I'm going to do a light, lighter pressure with this pencil but I am picking out all the areas you can see that's been grey scaled by Kirby Roseanne's. I am going to put some grey into it whether it be a hard pressure or a light pressure and just mixing, varying it according to how dark he's done the grey scale himself. And it does blend in well with that brown colour as well. It does blend in well with that.
go. Let's get some pulled up into this colour here in the corner. You can go over the top of it a little bit, pop some in there. Need another emergency vehicle going past, guys. I think that one was the police. That's the joys of living on a main road, isn't it? Does anybody else live where it's quite busy on the road, or are you peaceful where you are? I think everyone what comes round to my house always says, how do you listen to that all day? But you just get used to it. You get used to it. It's quite peaceful in the back. Right, when I go and sit in the back garden, it's quite peaceful. It's not as noisy as the front. Has anybody seen the new Anastasia Ella Calder Eva flip through? And now I've forgot the name of the book. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. I've seen a flip, flip through it. It's lovely. It is lovely. I just don't like I don't like paying the shipping. <laughs> I think it's cheaper if you get it directly from Anastasia to the UK rather than go via any Etsy store or anything like that. If you go direct to Anastasia. Man, you can't get it on it, so now, can't you not? Anyway, I think you do have to go direct to her. Um, but it's got some really nice illustrations in this one. It's something, the title's got wind in it. It's something wind, the name of it. I forgot. Because my memory's shocking, guys. You should know by now. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming together slowly this page but like I say ever I think all pages like this are a bit time consuming or at least they are for me I don't know That's why I'm not brave enough, well, very rarely brave enough to tackle a double page Kerber because, well, you'll know. I don't think Fragile Worlds is bad on his double page spreads as, as his other books. Let's get the bottom bit. You can see it coming together now though, can't you? It's sort of the moody feel of this side compared to just the it's looking okay it's looking okay oops yeah sometimes as well because i mentioned the hairdressers tomorrow sometimes my hairdresser does like a before and after shot um if she does that and posts it on the salon page i'll show you a picture of it before and after at the minute it's because i used to have like a um is it a copper would you call it copper color i don't know my kids call me ginger but <laughs> there we go but when you first have it done it's really bright but then it fades really, really quickly. So now I would say it's more like a strawberry blonde at the moment. But obviously I've got big roots <laughs> at the top. 
Big Roots and Bits of Grey Earth parking through, 36 years old. Well, I've been getting Bits of Grey Earth since I was about 29, probably. Like little strands at the top. Some people really suit grey hair though, don't they? Some people really suit it. And have the nice, like, really white, like the white colour some people's go, which is really nice. I prefer white. I'd love to go white over grey. <laughs> I think white looks quite nice. Just get in this corner while I'm doing here. Because I may as well. Because it's a bug hair being down here at the edge of the paper. So I may as well get it over and done with. I think because I've done all animals, well nearly all animals this month for my hashtag, I think in July I'm going to do quite a lot of portraits, <laughs> she says. Right, I'll definitely pick another page from the Christine Karen Wild, Wildflower Fork book, I love that book. And I'm still trying to rescue a page I made a booby one in the new book that Beak very kindly sent me. I was colouring a butterfly. In fact, if, if I find it, should I get... Let me find the book. I'm sure it's on here somewhere. I was colouring a butterfly, put Posca pen detailing on in black, black Posca, and then I swiped my page and all the black ink just run down. And I was like, mortified. <laughs> but... I think I can fix it, but it's just going to take time. So, this is the book. There is a flip through. There is a flip through up. Um, where is it? Where's my boo boo page? Where's it gone? Don't disappear on me. Oh, there. So, this is what happened. They were dots, you know, like these little dots. I did black dots here, and then I swiped the page downwards with my hands and it all run down now i think it looks quite nice but obviously i need to be able to color this butterfly here so i'm thinking <laughs> i'm thinking of trying to pick darker colors for this butterfly here so i can cover up that black whilst coloring this butterfly and then put that back in somehow i don't know i can i think i can fix it it's fixable but I just need time to fix it. It's probably going to take me a couple of months. <laughs> just because it's it's bugged me that I've done it. I was just like, cursed out, why? I was just like, annoyed with myself. Like, why have you just done that? So, it's, fi it's well and truly fixable. But it's just been in the right headspace to fix it, isn't it? It's going to take some time. Suggestions are welcome. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> What should I do with that page? Oh dear me. I'm my own worst enemy though and I always say it to myself, I always think, oh, put your details in after. Colour it all first and put your details in after. But I never learn. I never learn. So it's my own fault. Right on the edges of the page where I hate. Oh gosh. I 
I don't know how much of this you can see when my big hand's in the way but I think you get the gist of what I'm doing and there's a lot of this a lot of this it's very repetitive over and over deepening up all those little areas I'm so glad when this is done, I have to say. I am getting a bit fed up of it now. <laughs> when it starts annoying you. I'm like, I'm slightly irritated now. Oh my gosh, stay still. Oh, I've just bent the page as well. Stay! Bring a light to cover in of that over there. Let's turn you around. Let's see what we've got so first. We've got all the bottom bit. So we've just this bit. <laughs> she says, just this, only this bit. But we're on 42 minutes. I've got to get this done by 60 minutes. Can't let the video run over an hour. Go, 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 super speed. <laughs> oh dear. Has anybody been watching anything good? Any series, any films you've not watched before? What you've recently watched, what you thought was good? <clears throat> I don't know if I want to watch the new Fast and Furious movie. It's got a bit like... Ugh, I don't know. I know it's awful, but I like got bored of them films as soon as, sadly... Paul Walker wasn't in them anymore. I got all the films that came after that. I just like they're just not as good, are they? But I think when you drag movies out so so long as well, I think they do you get boring. It's like I don't know. All the Fast and Furious fans are gonna come come for me now. <laughs> <clears throat> but I think there's only so many of a film you can do, and then it just gets like oh no, not another one. Do you know that sort of? I'm like, oh no, not an not another one. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think? What do you think? If I've missed any bits as well, guys, shoot at the screen. Shoot at the screen as loud as you can. I'm out of here. I'm out of here next week. Is that all the bottom bit done? Nearly. I keep thinking about changing my bedroom round as well. At the minute, I've got my desk over one side of the bedroom that's 
it's right near my wardrobes I'm thinking about moving it over onto the opposite side but I don't know right I'm doing this line this is a shadow of the branch of the tree branch underneath the tree branch so I'm going in with a really hard pressure there that's a shadow of the tree branch so follow the same pattern the same line if you want to try and make the edges a bit more blurred out just small circular motions like pressure and go around the edges of the line that you've just created and that will blur out your edges and make it look a bit more um natural looking almost see here that's blurred the line a bit there um same here as well we've got um a little bit of a line going on over here from a shadow i think looks like it anyway going down here and that's the shadow of this bit here again go we'll fight the edges if you want to We're getting there guys, we're getting there. We're almost there. It's that bit. So around here is quite dark, so I'm gonna go in with a really hard pressure here. I've got a really, really dark rock. Down here, near our little donut, and then it's lighter at the top. We're still in frame here, we are, aren't we? Just checking. We're home with Ben now. We're almost done.
What have we missed? We've missed under here. Sharpen my pencil again. I think I can't get away with not sharpening it anymore now. Definitely needs to be sharpened. Right, this is another shadow and this is a shadow of its tail running down here so very very hard pressure again and then again if you want to soften the edges small circular small circular motions like pressure around the edges Just this very edge now. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> I get bored of, of stuff like this. Colouring like this, it really, really does like great on me. Being very careful on this edge here that I don't rip the paper. Oh my, there we go. Stay, <laughs> stay still. All right, I'm just gonna take a step back and look at it and see if I want to Put any more colour down anywhere? I'm thinking about around here maybe. Deepening up a bit down, down here. I've missed a bit there. Let's darken all that bit there. 
spatula decided. There we go. Now, very, very lastly, over all these leafy bits that we just put a base down, I'm going to go in with this burnt ochre. Now, I'm going to start off. Let me sharpen it. I'm going to start off at the bottom with a hard pressure and then ease off the pressure so that we're bringing this colour into it and leaving it green on the end. So it's a good mix of the two colours. I think that looks really nice. Oh my, stay still. So I'm just going to do that all along every single little leaf. Oh, get rid of the paper, stop it. I think I need to just do it this way rather than pulling up at the paper. That might be a bit better. It's not snagging at it as much. <laughs> I'm going to end up pulling my page about. Someone going past my music on them, go. Now if you wanted, once you've done all this, you could go back in with the earth green and just put it back in at the top of at the tips. But I'm going to leave it as it is because I want it to be more subtle. But if you want it to be brighter green on the edges, go back in with a hard pressure of that earth green. Um, but I'm going to leave mine, I think. I want it to be more muted. goes with the theme of the page I think oops careful around there heard someone talk to a colouring page as much in all your life. check i've not missed any day in here before we go to the last little bits
There we go. Now, let me try and zoom out so you can see the whole page so far and get the glare off. So this is what it's looking like. I'm going to pop some white gel pen detail in just around some of this, these areas really, really quickly. So on the mushrooms, I think, I'm going to pop some in. So just some little details here and there. Whiten some areas up, put some little dots in. Make it a bit whimsical. See what I'm doing? There we go, but well, that's what I'm going to do throughout the whole of the page now. It's just popping in white gel pen detailing. My sewing frame. I think they're cutting the grass outside if you can hear that noise. I think that's what it is. up here moving over to this side so you can get some of these little rocks yeah, you can definitely hear them cutting the grass now if you, if you hear that that's what it is guys and let's get these little mushrooms here <coughs> excuse me we go I think that's the most of it the bulk of it maybe a few little ones here and there we go so I'm gonna zoom you right now completely I'll just pop you off the tripod then we can get a better look of it without there being such a glare on it but that's the finished page guys that's it completed i hope you enjoyed coloring along with this or if you was just watching and seeing how i brought a coloring page to life i really do think that shadow's nice um try and get those in if you can rather than ignore them because they just bring the page to life it makes it 3d doesn't it but yeah 
I've quite, I've enjoyed colouring these, but not so much the backgrounds. The background was boring me by the end, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It looks really nice, and I can pop that back in my book now. And that's another page finished for my hashtag. So thank you everyone for colouring along, for watching. Please do hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.